On Saturday, February 4th, 44-year-old Pikeville resident Keen Michael Johnson was struck and killed by a car on US-23. It took place near the Community Trust Bank Tower as the driver was heading southbound during the afternoon. Johnson was pronounced dead at the scene by the Pike County Coroner's Office. Our dispatch center received several calls, 911 calls, reference to a pedestrian that had been struck by a vehicle traveling southbound. Near exit 24 in the cut through area, uh, first responders arrived on scene, located the victim. Um, Pike County Coroner's Office was called to the scene at that time and pronounced the victim deceased at the scene um, due to uh, sustaining serious injuries. The vehicle that struck the pedestrian stayed on scene and they were not injured um, uh, with the uh, collision. So. Officer Conda's courage is crossing the highway for any reason. As for the driver involved in the incident, there are currently no charges being filed. That's probably the worst road you could ever try to cross uh, in this county for sure, is US 23. It's just a very busy highway, it's a federal highway. In fact, you know, you're not supposed to even be hitchhiking on that road. Um, that's against ordinance and basically against the law. You're not supposed to even be, you know, the Department of Transportation they don't even want you to park your cars on the on the shoulders of those roadways. You know, we can't give people want to give permission for that and say, "Can we park her?" No, we can't give permission. That's that's state property. By the time we got there, by the time first responders got there, that uh, the victim was deceased. So there was basically was pronounced deceased there. So it's a fatal, of course. So it's going to be investigated by this department. Uh, Officer Tommy Fouts is a reconstructionist. He's in charge of the investigation. So at this time, we don't see any foresee any kind of uh, criminal charges. Reporting from Mountain Top News. I'm Nick Collum.